y'all, it's all of destiny. Welcome to Vlogmas 2020. Well, today we'll be setting up all of our decorations, put everything down, so we got a lot to work with. But it's okay. Lucky for you all, we're gonna do a speed through or sort of a hyperlapse time lapse of setting up all of the decor. So I'm gonna start in the dining room. While I work on all of this, my sister is going to begin on the tree. That way we can kind of minimize the time that it's gonna to take to do all of this. If you watched Vlogmas 2019, then you're familiar with all of the decor, but the napkin ring holders are from Pier 1, as well as these red plates. Pier 1, where I live, is actually closed now. So I won't be able to link these items. We also got these Merry Christmas napkins there last year. And then the red placemats were from Dollar Tree. Since we recently purchased these gold round placemats, I'm going to use those instead. And then we'll figure out a way to still incorporate the other ones into the decor. So obviously I'm just kind of playing around with things. And then we're going to set everything up. So if you all saw my last vlog, we did like dust up this table. So I didn't really have to do too much of that this time. I'm basically still using the same things that we have. I'm swapping out some of the plates and then I'm just gonna fluff the napkin and slide on the napkin ring holder. Definitely decided not to double up the placemats. One thing I will miss about Pier 1, when you go in there to get help with sitting tables and they show you so many different arrangements. So if I still wanted to incorporate the blue, you could definitely do something like that. The fun thing about all of this is just definitely preference. If it's your place, then you're able to, you know, decorate things the way that you would like what is most creative for your vibe. There is one plate that's kind of closer to size as that red plate and it would kind of be pointless if I left that one there. That's why I take that size out and then I put that smaller white one so that you can kind of see it when you stack it with the layers. That's just what she told me in Pier 1 on last year. I'm going to do a little bit of magic just to go ahead and finish setting the table. As for the floral arrangement in the center of the table, I'm just going to take out the little blue arrangement. Eventually you will see that I take out the white roses and then we're just going to keep the greenery and these cute little glam ones. They're also from Pier 1. Uh, the greenery, I don't remember where that's from. We've had that for a good couple of years now. I think off camera I'm just going to take a little tie. You know those little metal ties? That's going to help to pull up the little glam pieces closer together to kind of hold them up a little bit. I forgot I bought these from Ikea because we were gonna actually match the living room this year. But Pier 1 is closed now, so we will be stuck with this red stuff, not being able to match it up. Plus, I don't know how none, well, I won't say it wouldn't look like Christmas because our tree is pink and blue and it still gives Christmas vibes. We'll set this aside and figure something out. But I like it like this. All right, let's do it. We finna do it. So last year for Vlogmas, we purchased our first Christmas tree since we had moved like two years ago. Um, we didn't get a tree the first year, but last year we got this one from Walmart. It's a nine foot tree since our ceilings are vaulted. We definitely wanted to, you know, kind of bring that out a bit. A short tree was just, it would not do it for vaulted ceilings. And look at me, tripping already. Slow bus riding. There I go, there I go. I ain't breaking nothing this year. <laughs> Play the clip. on all of that throughout Vlogmas. No. Now we only got two. How'd it fall? No. We just got that. I should have set it right back up here. That's gonna look funny now with two like this. That's why I slide stuff yeah, around. I'ma just do this slide. You know how I get that. It's gotta go though. Listen up. Alright, this is a all day process. So update on the candle holders, my sister Dominique ended up breaking one a few weeks after that, so now we only literally have one of those. Man, you ain't forget. I'm talking about she forgot. You ain't forget. Come help me. Uh-uh, get started. Help me, dude. I'm gonna help you. This little set that I'm setting up now is from Goodwill on last year we purchased this. When we first moved out of our parents' house, uh, we didn't really have any Christmas decor. So obviously if you're trying to collect lots of it, you definitely don't have to buy everything brand new. And the cleaner that I'm using, if you saw my vlogs before Vlogmas began, the Infuse Cleaner, it is available at Target. And it's like non-toxic, no harsh chemicals or anything like that, but it definitely gets the job done. So I'll link those down below. Clean off the table and then swap that out for some Christmas pieces 
as well. As far as setting up the tables, I kind of arrange things different ways, step back to look at it, and then decide what I want to do. And before storing away the previous decor, we're going to run it in the dishwasher later at night. That way we'll at least have it, you know, ready for springtime. And just in case I'm not able to show how I'm going to do it, string this through the blinds, drop the bell portion through it, and that's going to like hook it on. Since this is from Dollar Tree, it's very lightweight, so it's not pulling on the curtains. Why I keep saying curtains? It's not pulling on the blinds. Make sure they're even. And voila. So we normally keep candy sitting around. When you get the fruit arrangements from Edible Arrangements, they come in the little bowls like that. I always wash mine out and keep them. So yeah, I just used some tissue paper and just stood them up in sort of a little arrangement like that. And to transform a basic paper towel holder, just add in any extra Christmas pick. Okay, so back to the table. To still incorporate these placemats from Dollar Tree, I'm going to fold them over as if they were napkin rings. Or you can roll it this way, and if you have any extra napkin rings, you can place it on there like that. Just something cute. I'm just going to take this little uh, birdie clip. This is from Dollar Tree again, from last year. Be sure to check out my sister Bones YouTube channel. She's doing vlogmas as well. I feel like I like the diagonal on top of the circle because it gives it like a little bit of complex or something i don't know we have just the regular straight one like this well, let me know what you all think if i should put more plates under this i don't know it was just a way to like work with this comment down below and then i'll change it based on whatever i see more comments on so now that i'm done in the kitchen and dining room it's time for me to join my sister back in the living room this is where we put our other end table whenever we put the tree in place of that so i'm going to take everything off of the table and then i'm going to use the infused glass cleaner to clean that off take off our little file pillows that we had we're going to swap that out for christmas decor as well and yeah see what kind of arrangement we can come up with so here is another thrifted find from last year here this thing is really heavy like and these tabletop gold glitter trees are from the at home store we got these on last year as well here i'm pretty sure they have the same ones this year yeah this isn't the final arrangement i was trying to figure everything out but since we have two rows for this table y'all will see how we did it towards the end i put the uh, one that holds the remotes and everything on that bottom row instead I definitely think by having us work on different tasks instead of both working on the tree to start off we were able to finish quicker than what it normally took us last year to get all of our decor out got to keep that in mind for next year too so if you're new to the channel this is my sister Dominique we both live together and yeah be sure to check out her YouTube channel as well it'll be on the screen and in the description box she is also participating in vlogmas this year I don't even have a TikTok, but follow me on Instagram. I make reels sometimes. That's why people be on their TikTok. Listen, let me tell you something. You want to do the ribbon different from last year? You want to do it the same way? I just want you to put this ribbon on the tree so exactly this tree. It gets this Okay. Oh, this is okay. Okay, let me pull up a video again because I forget what we did. Went ahead and looked up a few ribbon videos since we had done ribbon last year. That's why our pieces are already pre cut. We just took them off and re rolled them right back on again so once i was finished with the ribbons since i'm kind of picky on it it's my thing not dominique's thing we're just going to go ahead now and begin decorating the tree 
Also, my nephew came over, so he was helping us out as well. Be sure to follow him on Instagram, Mr. Lincoln Alexander. A little bit on the backstory for why we have pink decor and blue decor. My favorite color is pink. My sister Dominique's favorite color is blue. A lot of people weren't sure there was like pink and blue but now on Instagram this year we see a lot of pink and blue so you know the vibes and <laughs> we respect it The key to finishing your tree and not feeling overwhelmed and like oh my god why did we even decide to do this you gotta just play some good music dance it out get the tree finished. Our technique for finishing the tree is the same when we were growing up, uh, the way our mom would have us do it. Ooh, baby. Whichever set of ornaments you choose to work with, you have to like keep working with those, spread them out, step back to look at the tree, see how it's looking from different angles, sit on the couch, go to the dining room, review the tree. That way all areas are being covered. Up there, but it ain't hooked. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. Okay. Don't move it. The I topper will cover it. Picked up this cotton candy ornament from Hobby Lobby last year. Oh, ah. Put it right there. Good job. Yay! Yay. Good job, Lincoln. Woo! I said what I was going to come to. I'm going to play for a while. Good job. <laughs> Figured I would wait. No, I undid uh, the other things, but I said I may as well leave this wrapped up till I needed it. it will make more sense. Cause it'll just keep the glitter from falling in the meantime. So thank you. When she thinks she did something bad, but she helped you out, thank you. I don't think I'm gonna risk trying to cut that. I be to cut the little greenery off of it. The batteries are done charging. These are new batteries, but I wanted to make sure that they were fully green so that I won't have to probably charge them up all month. I can just turn it on and off. And this one takes three AA batteries. This is from the at home store, by the way. Oh, it's cute. So it has two buttons, one flickers. Which one do you want it on? I wonder if it's timed when you turn it on or we gotta turn it back off. Now for the unofficial reveal. Okay guys, so it's later at night. Currently what we at least have for today, only with the ring light on, I wanted to give you all realistic vibes of what it looks like sitting in here at night, watching TV, super cozy, super cute. The few candles, some of the LED candles really tie everything together. We don't have our topper on the tree just yet. As you all saw, <laughs> we did this entire thing without our ladder, our little step ladder. So, uh, we'll have to get the topper put on we couldn't really reach that if you watched my vlogmas last year these are all of the same decorations so a few new additions we have the reindeer over here i think i showed you all the elf last year so swinging around this is what we have on this side of the room i'm gonna actually cut on the light <laughs> i feel like y'all probably don't want dark vibes this actually doesn't go here um, my nephew likes to play with it when he's over reindeer over here and then the other things where we couldn't really decide where they should go, we just kind of like stored them there. These balls used to be on the table. So those were replaced with the Christmas trees. And that is it for the living room. We never got a skirt last year. From last year, we put the pillows under there. So unless we get a skirt, that's gonna be that same thing again. That's the topper stuff right there. Swinging around to the dining room. It's the same as last year. Only difference we didn't put out the Christmas hat chair covers. We may put those out later. I just wanted to go with this look for now. Wreath on the laundry room door. And then these are on the timer. Um, so they come on for four hours every day from like eight to 12, I think. And of course, our little teddy bears over there. So we put hats on them so that they can still coordinate with what's currently going on in here. 
Swinging around to the kitchen. Comment down below, let me know what you all think if this should stay underneath this or not, or if it should just only be one thing. Let us know. And I didn't know what else to do with the lollipops. I put those in here. This is how you turn your boring napkin holder into a super cute one. Just pop this little stick in there. Last year, this was like a hot cocoa station, actually. This is just how everything is for now. Here, I did take up the Bless This Home rug. Still need to get some rugs for in here because we only currently have down the ones standing over when you wash dishes. It used to be a rug here and then another one over there by the stove. I don't think we had chair covers over here last time, but we do this time. A little snowman chair cover, a little breakfast area. Honestly, realistically, I like it this way without too much going on. I don't really sit at the actual dining room set to eat. Like day to day, I can just <laughs> put my plate there. So I may keep it this way, convenient for me, for practical use basically. And then this is just that section. My plant, if you all saw Vlogmas last year, it was really thriving. Y'all be asking me how Chanel is doing. That's her name, Chanel. That's my middle name, so. But this is like the second time only. I've had her for two years now, going on three in February, and she's not really like, Happy, I don't know. Reef on the pantry door as well. So standing over here in the dining room, you can see the rest of the decor. We thought about transitioning everything from pink and blue to pink and blue over here. Why well, swap things out just to be swapping things out, you know? Did take the little bread ties to make this stand up a little bit better. And then I angled it to where um, when you come in from the living room, it's twisted to where it's sitting that way. So your eyes just kind of lay directly on it. The vase is from Burlington like two years ago. Just brought back out all of our old things. Some things may be decorated a little different if we just couldn't remember how it went. You can switch things out. That's the fun of decorating your own space. You get to have fun and do whatever you like. All right, I'll talk to you all in tomorrow's video.